Buenos dias amigos, I've made it to Monterrey, first time in the city, first time in the north of Mexico. It is only the ninth largest city in Mexico, but the second largest metropolitan area, with a population of over 5 million people. It is also one of Mexico's richest cities. And yeah, we're currently at a place called Macro Plaza which is the main plaza, the main square of the city and it is Mexico's biggest city square and one of the biggest city squares in the world Now, it's pretty humid here, pretty hot despite it being cloudy that's life when you come to Mexico in June For us, we're here now in the second largest metropolitan area of Mexico of the only Mexico City First time in Monterrey, and yeah, let's see what Monterrey has to offer. Vamos! Now the city here, Monterrey, is mainly Mexico's biggest business hub, due of course to its proximity to the US. The US is just a few hours up north from here by car. Um, and yeah, I mean, looking at this plaza here, how modern it looks, the brutalist modern style here of the buildings of this plaza, tells you a lot about the status of this city of Monterrey. The city also used to be, and this is one of the reasons why it's become so wealthy, a major industrial hub mainly in the steel industry. Up from the beginning of the 1900s until the 1980s, this used to be Mexico's biggest steel manufacturing city. Hola. And the city is also surrounded by mountains. And in winter, it gets pretty cold up here. And in summer, flipping hot. Loads of birds around here in Monterrey. Check it out guys, right ahead of us is the Palace of Government, the governmental palace of the state of Nuevo León. Monterrey is obviously the capital, the regional capital here of the state of Nuevo León. And yeah, despite being one of Mexico's biggest cities, technically speaking of municipal of metropolitan areas, it is Mexico's second biggest city after only Mexico City. It isn't one of Mexico's most popular tourist destinations. It's in fact one of Mexico's least visited cities by foreigners. And me personally, I've always wanted to come here, but always where I've been to Mexico it was in, yeah, in November, December, so it was always cold up here. The climate here is a lot closer to the one in the US. Mexico's biggest city square, starting here, all the way down there. The city of Monterrey and the state of Nuevo León are particularly famous in football. It's one of Mexico's most successful cities and regions when it comes to football. Its most famous club, Monterrey, has won the North American Champions League several times. And then they've got another big club here, which is Tigres. So two of Mexico's most famous football clubs, Monterrey and Tigres, are from this city. And also another football club called Nuevo León, from another city in this region, has recently won the North American Champions League. So football is massive here in Monterrey and in Nuevo León. Right then, guys. Not many people come here to Monterrey, to the Regios. The people of Mexico City are the Chilangos, the people of Guadalajara, the Tapatillos, and the people of Monterrey, the Regios, los Regios Montaños, they are called. And yeah, people in Mexico say, well, all over Mexico, they say that Monterrey, the Northerners, the Norteños, 
are a bit colder, a bit less open, a bit less friendlier. I wouldn't say that, but I've got to admit that first impressions, yes, people here up north are a bit whiter and not colder, but let's say a bit less talkative than in the rest of the country. That's the first impressions I've got here. People here are a bit less talkative, a bit shyer than in the rest of Mexico. But not less friendly, I wouldn't say that. But yes, what we want to find out today, I'm not here for a very long time. So yeah, we want to find out whether Monterrey is worth visiting, whether it's underrated maybe, an underrated destination here in Mexico. La ciudad de los reyos, los regios. I keep forgetting the flipping name, los regios. And also, like everywhere else in Mexico, they've got their own traditional food here. They like to eat goat here. There's a meal here, cabrito it's called. We're going to go for that later on. Later on we're going to go for some cabrito, which is the traditional dish here of Monterrey and of the region of Nuevo León. It's basically goat. It's been a long time since I ate goat, so yeah, looking forward to that. And people also say about this city that it's very expensive more expensive than Mexico City, than Guadalajara, than the south of Oaxaca, Chiapas. I mean, it's a much wealthier city, a much more modern city. And yeah, I arrived yesterday late at night. I landed from, I took a flight up north from Mexico City and I arrived quite late. I took an Uber from the airport and the airport is super far away. And yeah, it's very expensive. The Uber cost me like $25 and was like a half a 30 minute ride, which is quite expensive. I mean, in Mexico City, when you take an Uber from the airport to, depending on the area you go to, it would cost you like $12. So yeah, also in Guadalajara, it costs like $10, $12, here $25. So that's a lot more expensive, but yeah, not bad. Not bad so far. A pretty modern place, old Monterrey. This might be the most modern city, the most modern place I have seen in Mexico. Check it out. Not bad. The Uber driver yesterday, obviously Mexicans are always super proud of their city and their region and the Uber driver yesterday was no different. He told me that this would be my new, would become my new favorite city in Mexico, that people that come here never want to leave and always, yeah, make it their new favorite city. Let's see. And this, by the way, guys, is the start of the Paseo or the river Santa Lucia, an artificial river which connects, which runs through the city and connects the Santa to a very famous park here. And apparently you can even take a boat here, like in Venice. Maybe we're going to do that later on. But pretty fancy. This doesn't look like your typical Mexican city. Nice place. And this right here, this artificial river is also a place with loads of bars lying in the river. And at night, yeah, it's a popular place to hang out at night for the regios or riejos, whatever they're called, the people of Monterrey. It looks a bit like Venice. Never been to Venice. Many times in Italy, never been to Venice. But yeah, the Venice of Mexico. And many birds. Nice place, honestly. Didn't expect that of Monterrey.
let's take this chance and do something here which we could only do in Monterey. When in Monterey, let's take a boat through the canal. Just like in Venice. Right guys, got my tickets and I'm now waiting for the boat to depart. Cost me six euros for the round trip ticket, which is not too much in my eyes. And it's not a lot going on here today, check it out. Here we've got the museum, the Museo del Dulce, Museum of Sweets. And yeah, there's not a lot going on today. Probably due to the temperature, it's flipping hot, sweating hot. And yeah, that's why we're taking the boat. We were supposed to start 15 minutes ago. The European in me is coming out. I never thought I was going to take a boat through a canal in Mexico and not in Venice. to our destination. Gracias. Right, we've made it guys. Finally, we've gotten off that boat. Not too expensive if you ask me. Six euros for a round trip, which takes about 20 minutes. The only thing that sucks is that you're on the boat with, it's very touristy, you know, it's the boat driver is always, you know, speaking all the time and of course it's full of fellow tourists, so it makes it tough to, to film while on the boat. But yeah, we've made it now to the Parque de Fundidora, the Foundry Park here in Monterrey. This is a massive park which used to be home to Monterrey's massive steel industry. It used to be Monterey's industrial park. But then, when Monterey's steel industry, the Monterey foundry, folded, came to an end in the 1980s, well, they transformed this massive industrial park into a massive public park, full of amusement. They've even got like a theme park, a mini theme park in here. And they've cut some of the remains of the city's steel industrial past. Yeah, as a testament to the former steel industry of Monterey. You've even got a Holiday Inn Express hotel here, right next to the park or inside the park even. This is one of the biggest public parks in Mexico. Maybe even the second biggest after Chapultepec in Mexico City. And you've, you can rent bikes here inside the park, as these people did. There's some workout places in here. Wow, that's nice. And yeah, here we've got the theme park inside the park, but no, nobody's here today. So calm, so quiet. Don't know what's going on. Maybe it's too hot. Not a lot of people about here. But yes, just 30 years ago, this park here would have been full. It would have just been an industrial site. The biggest industrial site of Mexico. But then, of course, in the 80s, the steel industry ended told it and yeah they had to do something with this giant industrial park and they decided to transform it into an, a massive public park and build a theme park inside of it 